Uh, hi, my name is Joshua Vaz. I'm from Goa and I am a futsal instructor. So I'm employed by the All India Football Federation and I'm the only AFC level one futsal instructor for India. Futsal has been recently introduced to India actually. It was in Uruguay in 1930, but uh, only in 2011 has it come to India. And futsal is basically a shorter version of football. It's played on a flatter, harder surface compared to a softer football ground. And uh, the, the ball is a different type of ball. It's a smaller ball, heavier ball with less bounce. And also the type of shoes that you wear is very different from the football studs which you normally wear. So here we have a flatter, a flat sole shoe because you're playing on a flat surface. So obviously you can't wear studs that you would use on a football pitch. So yeah, so futsal, uh, if you think about it, futsal is the fastest growing indoor sport in the world. You know, it's played by over more than 120 million people and almost 120 countries in the world is playing it right now and India has just gotten into futsal. There are many aspects of the game. One thing is futsal is a game that is always in transition. So that means no player can stand on a futsal ground. Whereas on a football pitch, when you play with 11 players, if the attacker loses the ball, he's able to stand because he knows that he has six defenders behind to defend. But on a futsal court, what happens is you have only four players and one goalkeeper. So if a player up front loses the ball, he needs to come back and defend because if he does not, then it's a numerical advantage for the opponent. So this helps in transition. That is, when you lose the ball, defend. When you win the ball, attack. And if you see today's modern day football, there is a lot of counter attacking in football. Another very important point is you need a lot of fitness for futsal also. A world class futsal player can last on the pitch for not more than two minutes. But a football player plays for 90 minutes. But in futsal, there is something called rolling substitutions. So a player can move out, take rest and come back in. So a single player, at one single point of time, he plays for not more than three minutes. He goes out, he takes rest and then he comes back in. So these are things when you go onto a football ground, it makes you much fitter, much faster, much quicker. When you play futsal, you play on a smaller ground. That means the opponent can close you down much quicker than on a football ground. So when you're closed down much quicker, it makes you make decisions much faster. So when you're making quicker decisions on a futsal pitch, when you go onto a big football ground, everything is in slow motion for you. It's a great way to play football anyway. So if you can play futsal, even I recommend that, uh, you know, we have to work with the resources that we have. Sometimes it's too expensive to build a new ground, to put up a pitch. So even if you have your terrace on top, you put two goalposts, you mark the ground, you can play futsal. To play futsal, you need five plus five, that's 10 players. For football, you need 11 plus 11, 22. So I think it's easier to gather 10 players to play a game of futsal than to gather 22 girls. So, you know, even for girls, like our age group training, we have a lot of girls involved in futsal. We have a lot of girls who have come up through futsal and played for the country from our academy. And uh, right now, I had one futsal tournament for girls that is the first in Goa with the proper futsal rules. And now I'm also introducing a futsal league where the girls will get an opportunity to play 11 matches, you know, which has never happened in Goa before. So playing 11 matches over a longer period of time gives girls time to develop. So that means after a single match, they get to go home they get to see the mistakes they made, they get to come back to the next match and you know, work on those mistakes.